morning, Walter. I'm making this video kind of for you. I um, I just wanted to let you know this morning that that uh, I've been doing a little work on the shaper the past few days, and um, I'm uh, I've been making some progress. Very little, but I've been I have been making progress. So I wanted to kind of share that with you. First of all, I want to let you know that the the work that I did on the vise is is really working nice. The vise, everything squares up in there. The parallels are nice and tight under the work. Well, they were, <laughs> and um, yeah, it, I mean it. It all it's all working the way it should. I've uh, I, I I got about a two by two block of uh, ten eighteen in there. Yeah, two by two block of ten eighteen in there, and um, I. I um, I made one really nice cut. I think it's on this side, and on the other on the other flat side, I made a really nice cut. I think I've got one side that's that's a little rough looking someplace. But anyway, I'm kind of um, I'm kind of going around the block. Also, the other thing I wanted to share with you, and I don't know if I can zoom in on it, but this morning, this morning, um, not this one. This is the old shear tool bit I had, but. I ground a new tool, tool bit this morning and put it in there and I mean the chips are beautiful. I, I, I don't know if I can show you what they look like but they're just beautiful little curly cues. I, I, I don't know if I can put them under the camera or, or not. Probably not. Anyway, that's maybe you can see what they look like. But they're just beautiful chips, and it, everything's coming off the work so smooth, you know. I mean, the cutting is so smooth, and it's so, I mean, my cuts are so straight. I tightened up, I tightened up all the jibs. That's what I did here a few days ago, and, and um, I, I had, to, I kind of took things apart, took the shaper out of here, turned it around so I could get the back side, because, and I just got everything tightened up. And it was like uh, the work looked like the cut was skipping or something, you know. Every every eighth of an inch or something, I had a line in it. I, I guess that was, you know, something to do with the jibs because once I got them all tightened up, that kind of, that kind of that kind of thing went away. So I'm going to make a cut across here. I don't know. Uh, I, it it doesn't actually take it long to make a full cut across here, but um, if 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 uh, it's taking a long time, I'll, I'll, I'll fast forward through it on the video. But uh, I just wanted to let you know. And um, so I am making progress. And I, you know, once I get it, get this block so it's cut nice, then what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll put something wider in here and I'll start trying to tram this thing in. Because it's not far out, but I know it's not where it should be because I remember from Initially, uh, when I was testing it, I, I put a vise on here that was ground, and I, I ran the dial indicator across it. And I remember in the um, on the y-axis there was some some deviation. I, it, it seems to me on the x-axis uh, last time I checked it, it wasn't it wasn't far off if if anything. But anyway, that's going to require doing some more um, some more scraping on the bottom of the cross slide on the base of the cross light. So I'll take the cross light off, turn it over and get it scraped in. It may be a little tricky um, because, well, it, it just may be a little tricky. Anyway, um, so I want to show you though, it's just cutting like glass. I mean, just smooth as glass. I ground the, I ground the shear bed at 45 degrees. Now, I don't know, you know, I, uh, Maybe it should be more than that. I don't know, but I, when I had it cutting at, at a flatter angle, so to speak, I had like little chatter marks, and I still have those to some extent, but they're almost not noticeable. So I could grind it a little, a little steeper angle, I suppose. But the 45 is is really working nicely, and and I don't have to. I can just. The tool bit's square, so I can just grind it quarter, corner to corner. So, anyway, as you can see, I don't know if you can see, but I'm going to zoom in on the cut, so you can see the chips coming off. 
you know and it, like I say it's just cutting smooth as glass I need let me let me uh, change the camera angle a little bit and uh, there there right right about there actually you can yeah that looks like you can see the chips right there so so let's just leave it right there for a few minutes let me I put some I put some uh, I put some oil on the work and that's it this is going to be a really short video I'm not going to make it very long I'll just title it progress on the shaper because I am making progress um, I'm going to continue to work with this vise it's a little more trouble to work with but um, I'm going to continue to work with it and see how that see how it goes actually I'm only using the center clamping screw the other two screws I I'm not even using them at all so anyway you can see how it's cutting now I've come a long way since I started this I can make it across this two inch block and I don't know a few minutes less than five minutes you know you can see the pile of chips building up out in front they're about uh, I don't know half an inch five eighths of an inch long they got about um, I don't know three or four curls in them so I think that's what they should look like oh, right now I've just been working on the sheer sheer bit I gotta work on some other styles of cutting bits so but this this is uh, I like this it's nice and smooth and and uh, Oh, the other thing is, is I'll show you when I finish the cut, but the other thing is it leaves really a nice finish. I mean, it's not, maybe I can get better, that, you know, I don't doubt that, but, but it leaves really a nice finish on there. I don't know if you'll be able to see it in the camera. Of course, it's not perfect, but, you know, I mean, it, it is advancing 10 thousandths each time, so it's, it isn't, um, I mean it's not like a piece of glass but it's pretty nice if you if you look at it really close or magnify it you can see you know the cut lines in there but they're very minute so I'm almost to the end here so you can see this cut is going pretty quick this is 1018 steel I'm pretty sure is what it is I I, um, I mean it cuts really nice so pretty sure that's what it, what we're dealing with here so anyway I'm gonna post this well by the way too my editing I my that editing software that I'm using now is is working really well so I, I found some things I could some settings I could change in the software to stop the system from crashing so let me get a rag or something here if I can stay out of the view of the camera, wipe this off. I see a couple little lines where I stopped and started, but I don't know if you can see that or not. But that's really like it's like a piece of glass almost. I can't feel anything in there. I see a couple little lines in it, but um, that are, I mean that are a little more significant than what is normal. But they're not hardly any hardly noticeable at all let me let me uh, take it out and you can see you'll be able to see a little better let me hold it up here but I don't know the camera the camera is not going to focus you know you see some little dark line a couple little dark lines in the center of the cut I can't feel those I don't know what they are but this things it's hard to, it's hard to explain but it's just it is it is smooth it, you know so very very smooth just like it feels just like a piece of glass just perfectly smooth so I might be able to get it better than that I don't know but I could polish that 
in a few seconds. That'd be just like a mirror. So I'm I'm pretty satisfied with that actually. And the um, where's the other? This side this side came was pretty nice too. wasn't bad. And also the other side was real smooth. So anyway, I just wanted to make that short video this morning and let you know what I was doing. So it is coming along and the chips look a lot better so I'm happy with that so I'm gonna make I'm gonna maybe later on today I'm gonna grind another tool bit just around those tool bit and see if I can make something that that makes a decent cut and then I can take off take off more material with it so I'll close now and post this video hope everything's going good up there you hope you're staying warm it was about uh, it was five degrees out here this morning, so centigrade. So what's that? Maybe about forty. It's pretty cool, you know. It's warmed up now. It's probably about it's probably heading for forty-five or fifty now. So not bad. But uh, my hands are cold. So I know. So anyway, I'll call off now. Talk to you later. Bye bye.